It has to be somewhere in here. Unless I'm just a massive moron. Okay, let's try... Maybe I should look at the fucking walk there, what am I doing? He's going that way. Let's try this again, dude. Nah. Wait. Oh my god, I'm an idiot! It's in the boat! It's in the boat! Of course! People who steal from boats are gonna put it in the boat! I'm a moron! Holy crap! Why wouldn't they hide it in a boat? Who cares? Shipwrecks, it was all a hint. Got it. I'm Ghost with Knife, aka Yeager. Welcome back to More Made of Scar. And I have just discovered I'm an idiot. Okay, so that's. Give it to me. Yes. I am a freaking genius. I am. Oh, shit. I'm in trouble. That's what I'm in. That's what I am right now. I'm in trouble. Okay. So, uh, we found it. Holy crap. I did it. It was a stupid boat puzzle with bells. Of course. Why wouldn't it be? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. How didn't I see that coming? I knew that boat was something. I freaking knew it! Yeah! Stupid boat. Yeah, I win. I'm gamer. Alright, jerk offs. Let me in. Choo choo, mother. What? What? Oh no. Oh no. Get it! What? <clears throat> Why would you do that? Why would you do that? So cheap! Why would you do that? Choo choo! And then everyone's like, "Who's going upstairs? Attack!" It's smart, but that's just wow. Oh my god! The fear of having to go back to that. St oh, you shut! Oh, what now? Now what? How many of these do I have? I got one and two heels. What? Thomas? Thomas? My uncle Abraham might be on the second floor now. Abraham? Uh... You mean the dude who wants to murder people? He's a nice no. guy. But I heard somebody crashing around a few moments ago from somewhere below me. Okay, I'll be fine. My uncle was not a man to be trifled with before. And now, I am not sure he's a man at all. He's a brute, Thomas. I pray you be careful. How do I get to you in the attic? Apparently that's my next job. There is a way up job. to the attic, through my father's rooms in the west wing. Okay. You should be able to reach me that way. So, the West Wing. Please take care, Thomas. Okay. So, 
Oh, I like how we're just automatically gifted with the knowledge of locked door. Let's explore here first. So Abraham's down here. But I've got the blasty juice. Nice fountain. Jerk. So I'm assuming we're about to do a boss fight. Based off of that. Now, there is a bird. Do oh. Right. Fire causes dust. Right. I forgot. Fire. Fire causes breathing problems. I forgot. Brutus's letter to Elizabeth. Hey, that's her mom. My, my Elizabeth! Oh no, I am, I don't know what time I've got. It's 11.05, we'll go for about, I don't know, 17 minutes, that sounds good. My Elizabeth! Although I am writing this with a heavy heart, knowing that we have little time left together, please know that I cherish and love you dearly. There is so much more I should have told you. This house and the watery depths by which it dwells are full of secrets. Many too terrible to be told, and I fear I was complicit in them. I was a young girl, swept up in her fascination and adoration of your father, and of your my bad your grandfather and my father's hubris. Or your crap, I just butchered this all. Two random dudes I've never met before in their hubris. By the promise of power and fame, their discoveries afforded. If there is justice in this earthly realm, as they say there is, in the year after to come. I am praying the price I owe. Justice in this earth. You're not going to heaven, woman, just to let you know. You're going to the fifth dimension of Abercarkey. Abercarkey's a state, not a state of mind. Whoops. My fervent wish! I'm thinking of Albuquerque. Damn it, Bugs Bunny would slap me. My fervent wish is that you shall not pay for my sins too. Little too late for that, Mom! What are you gonna do this thing to me? Mom! No, I've got Thomas wrapped up in them. Mom! I'm slowly deranging and becoming two different people, just like the grandfather and the father. I am Elizabeth and Prudence, channeling their actions through my blouse. This is getting weird. There is so much more I should have done. My greatest regret is not having the strength to leave Scar Hotel. I mean, you knew where the door was. To have not taken you away from this place, and to have been though so thoroughly caught up in its spell. Probably the siren, they do that. It is a mistake that I do not wish to, for you to repeat. Leave this place, do not look back, and do not be seduced by its honeyed song. My darling daughter, please do not weep for me, but know that I love you with all my heart and soul. My eternal love, Prudence, why do I feel like she killed herself? That's not good. Mom, stop killing yourself. Ooh, poor happy juice. <laughs> Did mom take too much tonic? Is that hurting me? I don't know. With this, why am I doing the voice still? With this game, who knows what's hurt you and what doesn't. This is a boss fight. 100%. Okay. Oh. This is some music. Oh, this is music. What the fuck was that? I don't want to grab that yet. Why did it sound like Bane was in here? Where did I come from? I think from the left. I don't know. Oh, it came from that way, right? Okay. Um, I'd love a save for this very obvious boss fight. Oh man. Oh. Glorious. Where? Well, there's a cylinder. 
Don't know how I know about that. Great! I hate these crates. That's a trap. That's a trap if I grab that. Uh, I didn't pick up a save either. I'm gonna have to walk into it. I don't have time to dilly dally like this. I know he's here. I know I'm about to get jump scared. I was right. <sighs> okay, let's just talk for a minute. I'm sorry, but when your game's main way of scaring you is cheap jump scares, it just, it's not the same effect. You ruin the atmosphere because it, it just means that you're always tense, not for all the wrong reasons. You're tense because you're afraid of the next jump scare and not the actual environment. It cheapens the effect of everything you do. Oh, am I gonna get jump scared for grabbing this? Probably. Oh, no more jump scares? See what I mean? Like, there's just... There's no point to anything. Like, there's no point to, to anything you do in this kind of matter. <laughs> Because it's just a matter of waiting for the next jump scare. Like, I didn't even jump that time. Why? Because I expected a jump scare. Why? Because I expect nothing more from this game. It's deadened me to the idea that there could be anything actually interesting in this game. I'm assuming to the right is... Either the right or the left is the boss fight. Looks like there's a room not really marked on a map. Like, I'm gonna look for this, and there's gonna be another jump scare, I bet. Like, every scare in this game has been a jump scare. Let me guess. I'm gonna turn my volume down, because I don't want loud noises in my ears, because I've got people asleep in my house. Because I'm like, these dickheads, I actually give a shit. No, no more jump scares? You sure? It's a great opportunity to just randomly jump out. This is why this is why jump scares as a main scare tactic in a game are cheap. They ruin the atmosphere. They, they, they make any any actual scare you feel you feel like you got robbed of your emotions. It's complete bullshit, and there's nothing I can do to make it any better. I would like. I'm always in this anticipation that I'm going to have a loud noise in my ear every second, and it means, for me personally, I just turn down the volume, and that kind of worse cheapens the scare. Oh look, more crap about Prudence. Is Prudence in here? Am I about to have a boss fight with Prudence? Finally! I am so glad I went the right way. Oh. Oh, I don't like this room. Who are you? I'm Thomas. Actually, I'm Ghost, AKA Jaeger. Who are you supposed to be? I forgot my time just because of that stupid jump scare. So what do you want to complain about now? Run out. Yeah. Father intends to use his grand harmonium, a machine he has devised tonight. To use the recorded song of that lamentable creature on the household and staff. A dress it was already too late. Reopening. One final test before... Oh, I'm not ready. I've tried to compose it myself. Tried until my fingers bled on the keys and my voice cracked. But at last... That's a nice two dress. composers of the countersong have arrived at the hotel. I must speak with them. Matilda. Matilda, Henry, and I'm Thomas, the other one. Henry Hughes is one of the people 
Who was trying to do the uh, the counter song? Matilda was the was the dead girl in there. Is there anything on the back? I didn't check earlier. I can only pray that this would be enough. It wasn't. I could leave still, slip away. I've thought about it again and again in recent days, but that would only be condemning the others to my father's experiments. <sighs> I must face our family's sins. And if I must, I shall pay the price. Okay, so she tried the oh, counter song already. So. I wish I did not have to face this alone, as I fear my strength and resolve might fail. Thomas, where are you? I need you now more than ever, my love. So she already tried. So who's to say that Elizabeth isn't in on this? I think Elizabeth is entirely in on this. I think Elizabeth is, is trying to kill me. Another one? Holy crap, we are just stalking me up, aren't we? I'm going to save each and every one for Abraham. So there should be another room over here. Unless this door is magically locked. It isn't. More cheap jump scares? Look, this is what I mean. This is why I hate jump scares. I'd much rather there be like a natural chill up the spine. Like I'd, I'd much rather you do that, 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 like the like how we did in the graveyard, how we saw the big guys walking up, and then their hands were reaching over all that. I prefer those kind of things because they set atmosphere, they set tone. Elizabeth counter song plan. My refusal to sing has frustrated my father, but it has only delayed his plans. Play that recording of the creature's song via one of his mechanisms consumes him now. There must be some means to counteract. Oh, wait, hang on. I've added new Elizabeth voice, which is the same as Prudence voice now that I've made established this is a thing in this very episode. There must be some means to counteract it, to dull or cancel its influence, some melody or song that can act as a counterpoint, as a counter to it. I will need help, but how to go about it? The risk of the song getting out is too great. Perhaps if I were to split it into pieces, the same as my father has done with his recordings, and approach four different composers. But who'd ask? Thomas, but who else? So we have mine, Matilda, and I think Henry's. So. So then where's. Okay, there's a lot of opportunity to get this last song. I don't feel like I'm in imminent danger. One of the things that I do like about this game, I will say, just to not completely complain about the jump scares here for a minute, is that I really like the pace, like, the pacing is slow, but it's not like Red Dead Redemption slow. The pacing is slow because it forces you to be cautious the entire game, which is good. Putting, putting that fear into your player is, is a good thing for the game. But jump scares completely rob you of at least in my opinion they really rob your ability to uh that's where the music doll was they rob your ability as a game developer to legitimately scare your viewer because it's just because it's like someone just jumping out and screaming boo as loud as they can whenever you don't expect it like you have to build genuine fear with something and jump scares don't have genuine fear behind them they're just lazy. Bye. I didn't open. Yeah, I did. There was a music box in here. Like him, like reaching out and grabbing the key from you. That was smart. I like that. I feel like murderer. You got that right. I feel like if I go to the right, that's going to be a boss fight of some sorts. I'm feeling a boss fight. Hardcore. Uh oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? What do I...
What do I do? Oh. Oh, he just straight up one shot me. Um. Wow. What? Why is Abraham like Andre the Giant with a bag on his head? Whatever, dude. Yeah, that was so informative of what I should be doing here. He literally one hit kills you. Wow. This is completely fair. Yeah. Like, that's another thing about this game. Anytime I died, I feel like it's just been completely unavoidable. Like, in that situation, like, some of these things, like with the death trap we had earlier, they feel like meat grinders in, like, D&D. &D. So for this area, I'm gonna have to do something to him. I wonder if we'll just go ahead and have this stupid thing out. Since there is... Since I'm going to be fighting him no matter what here. Like, this is unavoidable. Okay. This is that door, yeah. There's a grate, but I can't access it. If I go over here, he kills me. So... Hello, Goose. You here to wish me good luck? Is this a goose door? That's not a raven door, it's a goose door. Thank you, goose. I apologize for being so incorrect earlier. Okay, I'm assuming... I'm assuming I have to kill him somehow. I'm just gonna bust through this wall, right? does hurt him, okay. Come on! Oh, shit! Okay. Oh, he knows where I am, okay. I don't really know what to do here. Getting past him doesn't do anything. What? Where's that safe room at? I went the wrong way, shit. Can I reach? Oh, wait, that's right, stamina. Stamina exists. I'm dead. See if you can get in here. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> he can't get in here. <laughs> he can't get in here. Who are you, Abraham? This is hilarious. He can't physically get you in here. <laughs> <coughs> wow. So, um... I've been given no information on this situation. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. And to be frank, we've kind of cut off on time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load my last save. Yeah. 
because I've run out of the the discombobulator and I have no clue what else to do here. So. Uh, <clears throat>